Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And yes, it is early December and we are getting close to the Christmas event that is going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks. And until that time, I've basically been trying to earn as much cash and travel from place to place to get as much of my gear repaired with this cash so that I'll be able to take on this event when it comes. Now, one of the things that you can do, not only with grinding the fish, obviously, is to take on some of the missions, and they've added quite a few missions that are very helpful. Some of them are really tough, guys. I mean, let's basically face it, the mastering are quite tough. Sometimes these explorations, finding every single species here can be tough as well, but a lot of times just visiting these areas, you will actually complete portions of them. And you might want to go back and check that for that fact, because these can pay some gold, they can pay some cash, and right now gold is a you know, tough commodity to come about. But one of the ones I am going to be taking care of, because I happen to be at uh, Naharan River playing yesterday evening, and I completed the catfish a trophy mission and it just so happens that that paid like 15,000 cash and four gold I mean and I got a trophy <laughs> and I was I accidentally caught a trophy flathead catfish on six pound test and it took me like forever to get him in but hey it paid off in the end but right here we got the salmon trophies that's the um, mission that I would like to take on at this point because I've already completed so much of it without even trying. I only have two left to get. The Trophy Atlantic Salmon and the Trophy Lake Whitefish, both of which can be found at Moose Lake. Look at this. Five gold, 15,570 plus whatever fish you happen to grind while you're here. So it's a good deal to do and another one I've got real close on is this pike trophy one now it, that one's 5380 and three gold i just need a trophy grass pickerel and the perch and pike perch trophy the trophy sauger that can be caught uh, i believe it's at uh, emerald lake and the musky trophy that's another one the trophy tiger musky That'd be 8,004 gold. I mean, there's lots of ways to catch these. Some of these are going to be a little tougher than others, but I think you can handle it, guys. I, I'm going to sure as heck try this episode if I can. Well, let me go ahead and get back to where we were. Now, we do have to advance time, and there's been some changes with the time. Uh, forwarding which is actually pretty cool the way they've done it well, let me go ahead and get in here and I'll show you what I mean okay we are in a private room here so we don't have to worry about bothering other people or other people bothering us whichever would be the case and Let's go ahead and check out that time thing. Let me see. We want to get, see, you're like, where, what time do I need to get to in the peak? Well, go ahead and hit T, and you can see it now. And what's neat is as you advance, you can see how it's forwarding yourself on that peak, just like that. And you can even get in a little bit of advance notice here on day two. Gives you temperatures, times, air speeds, water temperatures, all kinds of good stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and advance this to about 12 p.m. That looks good. It's just that easy. And since we are after salmon, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do some float fishing to start off with. Now, I've got two float fishing rods with me. I got my Phoenix, and it's the 40 foot by 10 inch, 22 pound test is what I can go to. I believe I have, that's a little more powerful, but 
It ain't gonna hurt anything if I'm careful. The Hornet Swarm is a little bit more powerful. Like I said, we just you just have to kind of watch how much tension you've got when you got it that close. I usually don't like to do that, but this one is set up perfectly. This has got 35 pound rod, 35 pound reel, and 33.9 pound test. And even the leader is 33.5, so everything is perfect. This is actually one I've put into a template so that I could save it. But we're going to see what we can do about getting some Atlantic Salmon at this point. Now the Lake Whitefish is the other one we have to get. And while you can sometimes catch them over here on the dock, it's kind of tough. We need to get on the boat, and I've got the perfect place for that. I've did, I have done an episode in the past about the Lake, Lake Whitefish and where to catch them. But we can reiterate that again, so no big deal. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and float fish for these guys. Now, I'll put out my rod pod right now, but I'm kind of thinking I would get a lot of activity, and I want to get this guy in before we do any fish grinding. Now, what I'm looking for here, guys, I'm trying to see if anything's jumping. I think that might be a marker out there. Let me check here, guys. Uh, that's just a mark. Okay, right there, we've got an Atlantic Salmon Trophy Splake there. Not sure why that one was there. Let's see. There's where the Trophy Lake Whitefish were. Two places for them, so we'll be heading over on that side. That'll be easy. I don't know. I'm not sure why that one's there. We might just toss it out there and see what we get. May not be a bad idea. Now, we could bottom fish for these guys, but most likely we'll not get them. The reason being is because they tend to hover near the, near the surface most often. And we'll be dealing with them, other fish getting on the bottom rod so often that we won't probably be able to get the salmon. Another thing they changed too is the zoom in button. As you can see, it zooms in, <laughs> way in. But if you hold the Z and scroll your mouse button, looks like something's chasing after it, you can zoom in and out. So it's a little bit better for you to see it. You don't have to be like right on top of it. But I have definitely got a bite here going on. This might be our quarry here, guys, but remember this has to be trophy size, not just an Atlantic salmon. I might need to upscale that hook size, but we'll see. There's our Atlantic Salmon, but not a trophy. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll upscale that hook. I put a 2 up because that's kind of like a starting point for me, which is why I set that template that way. If we put a 4 out on there, our chances of getting the regular size Atlantic Salmon are going to lessen. And we'll have an increased chance of getting a trophy sized. Oops, you gotta remember the whole disease. There we go. A lot of activity out there. Shouldn't be much of a problem getting the fish. Problem will probably be getting the right one, the right size anyway. I thought I had more large minnows than that. 
Now you can use those. You can use the shiners if they like those as well. You can also use the crankbaits. Yeah, something's after that. So when he takes off and runs real fast. Like, see what I mean? And then it dings. And usually they just kind of hit it suddenly. They don't waste any time. I don't think this is a trophy either. Yeah, he's giving a pretty good fight, though. Could also be a lake trout, too, so... There's our trophy Atlantic salmon, so what's the problem? Catch and take. Oh, we gotta take it. There we go. <laughs> Duh. We already completed that. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty fast, actually. So now we need to get the whitefish. Whitefish, they are over here. Let's get on our boat. Start her up. Okay, there is a bear area over here that we want to get to. Because usually there's ice shelves on either side, but we're looking for the bear spot over here. Confused. That log is our marker. There we go. <laughs> Forgot about the log. And so there's a marker on both sides. See, I thought they were both on my left. That's all right. Now for this, we're gonna need a rod pod. Go ahead and set that out. And best baits for them, I will tell you right off the bat, my probably the mayflies work the best, but there are others. Let me pull up the lake whitefish here. They will go for flies, they will go for grasshoppers, and they also like the natural eggs. So I would, I've caught them most often off the natural eggs and the mayflies, so that's where we're going to set up on ours here. And here's the natural eggs. I'm going to throw it right at that marker where I caught that one, whenever that was. I'm going to take that down just a bit because... Sometimes you'll get something a little bit bigger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was fast. Oh, brook trout. I guess they like them too. Yeah, the brook trout are in another mission for trout but that is an extensive one you have to catch a lot of species but big cash and gold for that one if you can get it done all right one number two i've got shrimp on that one let's put mayflies i think i have mayflies don't I? yeah i do okay wasn't 100 percent certain i did Let's see, what have I got on here? Spawn sacks. I can't remember if they go for those or not. It's not on a list, but sometimes the list is misleading. Let's try mayflies first. That hook's a little bit big. 
Let's go down to a two odd. Let's kind of spread it out a little bit. And I will tell you the whitefish tend to bite more later in the evening than the daytime, but we'll see. Okay, I want to make sure he was really going to go for it. Not sure if we got one. Yes, we did. There it is, guys. <laughs> that fast. Trophy Lake Whitefish. And there you go. I just made a bunch of cash and five gold. Salmon Trophies. Great collection. And you get to keep that. This item is placed to your backpack. So let's take a look here. Uh, I'm not sure where they stick. Put it though, let's see. Specials maybe? Yeah, there it is. See, so I got the catfish trophy. Salmon Trophy, the Sturgeon Trophy. These are my mounts. So I'm just really getting started on those. There's that Witching Recipe book from the Halloween event. Well, that wasn't too bad. I think what we're going to do here now, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and just do some fish grinding here. Now, oh, there we go. A spike. There we go. That's cool. White moose trial. Well, that one I wasn't even trying for. That works. Another 2,000 cash, another gold, and a three inch nymph. Ah, I lost the fish though. Dang on it. Ooh. He was tugging a little bit hard there. That's probably not a bourbon unless it's a big one. There we go. Trophy Lake Trout. 1192. Oh, that's not a bad day's work. Let's see what, how much cash we've got on our... It's 10,634 already, guys. And that's without the money I got for that award. So, <laughs> for actually two, because I got that other one as well. And we've just started. Yeah, it's easy and quick to get to 100,000 or more if you really need to get the cash. This is probably one of my favorite grinding lakes this one and uh saint croix but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe we will be back with another episode of the fishing planet classic so until then guys as i always say aim straight cast far and have fun i will see you later bye bye